covering the beautiful V curriculum, Modern American and World History today. This is a book I'm using this year with my eighth grader and he's loved it and I have loved it too. I'm gonna to cover three things. Firstly, what does it cover? Why I love it? And how does it work day to day? So first of all, what does it cover? All Beautiful Feet curriculums usually cover history, literature, and geography for this time period that it's in, whatever time period it is. This one is 1860 all the way to present day. And it starts out in the Civil War and ends with the War on Terror. I have never taught this particular era before in my home school. I usually leave it until um, the high school years but we were done with most of the curriculums that I had and he was a more mature child of mine and so I said, you know, let's try it. And the books they picked were phenomenal. So it covers 1860 to current day. So it starts out in the Civil War, goes through emancipation and all that happened after that, goes through the First and Second World Wars, goes through communism, it goes through the Korean War, the Vietnam War, all the way to present day. So it teaches history. Um, using a sort of a textbook, you'll read chapter of this book, which has been reprinted by Beautiful Feet, and then you will read some literature to do with that era. And then you'll come back and read another chapter and read another, a different, a different literature book. Um, and then alongside that, you will be mapping. And that is what is covered why I love it is how they cover it. It's like I said, it is literature-based curriculum. So it is a Charlotte Mason method, which maybe you've heard about. Um, hopefully you have. It is my favorite method of learning with children. It is using literature. It is using living books, whole books. It ignites curiosity. It is um, taking them through lives um, as you read for a whole week the same book and they're just on the edge of their seat figuring out, trying to figure out what's gonna happen next. And um, when you use imagination like that, the stories stick with them. You can talk about the reasons behind why that was ha happening in that era. You can talk about the politics at that time, um, the culture at that time, society at that time, why this, these kids were um, perceiving society a certain way what they didn't know, what they did know. Um, like I said, it ignites curiosity and causes them to want to learn, to love learning. And I wish I had learned history like this. <laughs> Mostly, most of us uh, learn history from a really dry history book, which is kind of dead. So it opens the doors of the kids' minds when you read exciting books. Um, I trust them. They're Christian based. They um, have fantastic book choices. So that is why I love Beautiful Feet. I have used them for years. This is an old one I found in my cupboard. I don't even know when this is from. Um, they were black and white. They were just as good, but these have all been reprinted now and they're all beautiful. I have an example here of one from high school that I used with my older kids. Um, you can do timelines on the wall to give your kids a visual to keep adding to as you go along. Um, really a fantastic, fantastic curriculum. So what's it like day to day? Okay, let's open up the book to a lesson. So here is lesson 48. First of all, they'll be in preparation for reading there usually will be some vocabulary words. So here they've given me six vocabulary words that are going to be in the reading. Then read two chapters of Rascal, a book by Sterling North. Um, then there's about six or seven comprehension questions from the story to evoke some logic thinking, just to check they were listening. <laughs> um, and then there's a website to go to to learn more about Louis Pasteur and his discoveries and all that would take about an hour um, you can have your older kids read to you and work on their out loud reading skills you can read completely to them while they maybe draw play legos whatever you kids need while they're listening i'll show you another one so this one is read chapters three and four of the little writers then there's about seven or eight questions 
what happened and then why do you think it happened? So it's drawing out some of the Socratic method of making them think beyond what the book is saying. Why do you think that happened that way? Why did they react that way? Um, there's an ask in the back if you're stumped for answers to it. <laughs> then also there is um, listen to an authentic World War II radio program on YouTube gives you where to go and look for that. And so it's, it's an immersion of an hour, hour and a half of this period of time. Um, alongside this, I add a writing curriculum for this period. I add a spelling and I add a grammar to it. So that's, that would be my complete, um, so that'll be my complete English. So I've got literature, spelling, grammar, and then a writing curriculum. On top of this, there will be mapping as you go through the different areas. They'll have you pull up maps online, interactive maps. There's physical mapping to do. They'll have a, they have a downloadable map package for each um, guide. The guides are in $26. So if you're like me and you have some books, the only other book I had to buy to go along with this is this, that they reprinted at Beautiful Feet for $25. And this is really a great book. Um, which you could also sell on on eBay if you wanted to. Then I had some books in on my bookshelf. Um, this one, uh, Crossfight April, Civil War, Theodore Roosevelt. These are the kind of books you're going to study. I have um, Frederick Douglass. So all of these are edge of your seat books. Then I got some from the library, which included 20 and 10. 10 Jewish children being hid in a school in France. You've got Lois, library na number the Lois Lowry, Number the Stars. Um, this is set in Denmark during World War II, where she had a Jewish neighbor they had to hide and then smuggle out to Sweden. This one I haven't even read yet, but this is from the library. Um, this one is an interesting book. I'm from England, and this is a book. This is very typical of the books you will get in Beautiful Feet. It's War Boy, and it was written by Michael Foreman, and he was a boy in World War II growing up in England. Was actually a photograph of him at the beginning and what it was like to live in Lower Stuft or near Lower Stuft uh, where they were threatened by invasion and what it would have kind of a humorous book and interesting um, what it would have been like go down to the Anderson shelter when the bombs were dropping um, what it was like being his mum's corner shop with all the military that were coming in and out I mean they were there for years six years and so this kid grew up for six years of his life being surrounded by the military. The beaches were covered with barbed wire and, and um, gunneries and stuff like this. So I think about it, six years it was like this. But from his perspective, what it was like growing up in a town like this, really, really, really interesting. Um, but kind of from a funny perspective because he was so young. So a lot of them evoke emotion, place those kids from their perspective, what it would have felt like. And then the questions get them reasoning. They relate the questions, they write the answers down. And then there's writing prompts about every five or six lessons, possibly a paragraph or a small essay that they can work on. Um, but I did add extra writing just because I like my kids, especially in eighth grade, to be prepared for high school. But the 107, 116 lessons that they put forth for the year, so it's about four lessons a week, which gives you that extra day to catch up if you need it. The whole curriculum, if you buy it from them, is available for $250, which is a really great price because they print a lot of the books themselves. So that would be all these books and all these books plus the guide, $250. Or like I said, you can get them from the library or you can borrow them from friends or um, buy them individually from eBay. So. This is a great resource if you have multiple children. This is five through eight. So say you had a sixth grader and an eighth grader, they could do history together, saving you tons of time. They could both do the writing curriculum together if it's the same period of time. This is the best way to learn history, in my opinion, with the Charlotte Mason method, using real books, living books, whole books. That is not dry, that your kids will remember. And when they get to senior high and they are covering more information type books, um, they can remember these stories and when they're asked to write essays they'll have things they can draw from so great curriculum highly recommend it it is linked below to the website if you want to check it out but thank you for joining me 
and this was Beautiful Feet Modern American and World History.